I am seated with Kristen Landry and Melissa Massé, our co-presidents for the GCWCC Youth Council. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Tell me a bit about where you guys are from. Uh, moi, je suis Melissa Massé. Je suis de Service Public et Approvisionnement Canada. Je suis très contente d'être ici ce matin. Uh, my name is Kristen Landry and I'm from Veterans Affairs Canada in Halifax. Enchanté. Nice to meet you both. Uh, Pourriez-vous me dire un peu uh, au sujet de la Conseil des jeunes de la CCMTGC? Oui, certainement. Moi, je peux répondre à cette question. Euh, le Conseil des jeunes de la CCMTGC est composé de sept représentants à travers divers ministères gouvernementaux autour du pays. C'est la première fois qu'on a des membres à travers du pays. Ensemble, nous appuierons la modernisation et le renouvellement de la campagne de charité en milieu de travail et on cherche des moyens de mobiliser et inspirer les jeunes et les nouveaux fonctionnaires publics. Ah, the next generation. Oui, yeah, exactement. Exactly. So, Tell me a little bit about what the GCWCC Youth Council is doing to reach out to these new young public servants. Yeah, for sure. So we actually started an initiative in 2016 called Project B. Uh, Project B focuses on three main pillars, uh, youth mental health and addiction, homelessness and refugee settlement. So the youth and new public servants, or really anyone in the government, are able to give back to some of their local communities revolving one of these three pil pillars, or they could uh, give back to any of their local charities really that they're, they're willing to uh, donate to. It also includes volunteerism, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a donation, but you, as long as you're raising awareness or you can volunteer, then uh, anything is welcome at this point. We really want the new young public servant, the members of our next generation, to consider giving to the campaign if they haven't before. How can they do that? Yeah, for sure. So we do have multiple ways that you can uh, pledge um, or donate. So you can get involved with your local department, GCWCC, and you can give a one-time donation through any of their events that they have organizing. Um, it can be as simple as $1 or $2 or whatever uh, amount that you're willing to give. Um, it could be volunteering again, or you could go onto the GCWCC website as well. There's also an option to do uh, like a one-time credit card payment or a check, or you can do PayPal as well. Um, or you could do the payroll deduction, which comes off your pay bi-weekly um, for whatever amount that you're willing to give. Uh, C'est important de communiquer avec les gens que chaque petit geste aide. Il y a tellement de façons à donner. Vous pouvez faire parvenir votre don à Centraide, à Partenaires Santé, à Projet Soi ou à l'un des 86 000 orga organismes de bienfaisance enregistrés au Canada. All right, well, I just want to say thank you so much for coming to meet with us today. I really hope that this will help us reach out to those uh, new and young public servants here at CBSA. We've got all this information that you shared with us today available on our Atlas page for CBSA Gives. There's lots of great information about these charities available on Canada.ca as well. And uh, I wish you both a very successful campaign this year. Great, thank, thank you, you so much. Merci.